could not think of a better country in which to deliver this message than Indonesia, whose national motto is Bineka Tungal Ika, or Unity in Diversity. This great nation, made up of roughly 300 ethnic groups and more than 700 languages and many faiths spread out across a vast archipelago, is a heartening confirmation that pluralism can work. Pluralism, democracy, and human rights are in the DNA of Indonesia, which have been further advanced since the democratic reform in 1998. Today, Indonesia's democracy and pluralism are the drivers for social justice. In the past four years, President Joko Widodo has strengthened the state's presence to further economic development, poverty alleviation, political stability, and respect of pluralism. Our democratic progress is also driven by a holistic approach in women empowerment and through youth programs. Indonesia's pluralism is not given, but must be nurtured. Therefore, the government strengthens endeavors that respect diversities. On the same importance, Indonesia leads by example in advancing the regional cooperation in ASEAN that respect democratic values, human rights, and rule of law. Indonesia also takes the leading role in addressing regional humanitarian issues while respecting more pluralism. In Myanmar, Indonesia is active in pursuing peaceful solutions by providing 4 plus 1 formula. Indonesia further promotes dialogues and sharing of best practices in the region through Bali Democracy Forum that advances democracy as a strategic agenda in the Asia-Pacific region and interfaith dialogues with various countries. Indonesia proves different backgrounds and faith could live in harmony by nurturing diversity into a positive energy. This is Indonesia's good human rights stories. What's yours?